I could already tell that she was struggling a lot with her hearing, um, just with the way she communicated with her daughters and how her daughters had to speak to her. When we had a, a party or something, she would just, after a while, just go to the room and, and just stay there because she didn't want to anybody to go and, and uh, like try to have a conversation because she was too tired of not hearing nothing and it was embarrassing for her. Um, and understandably, she was very frustrated, very sad, feelings of depression. She knew about this uh, this cochlear implant because um, she doesn't have insurance because uh, it was pricey. Um, she was saving and saving, and she so that was she decided to do. It. Her first appointment with Dr. House was like six years ago. She knew that it was really expensive because she had to pay cash, and Dr. House told her that. Um, he wouldn't charge. I'm sorry. Um, he will ch charge his um, his honorees for doing the um, the surgery. So it was um, easier for for her. But then still, it was a lot of money, right? And um, she was saving, saving, and after five or six years, she came back again, and he told her, um, I'm still in the, in the same, in the same spot, I won't, I won't charge you for my honors, and you just have to pay whatever else, he helped a lot, so we are grateful of him, and God bless him. The first time I activated her, so the first time she got her device and we turned it on for the first time, I know that was a very uh, emotional experience for her. So now every time that she hears something like the wind, uh, the water, she gets so excited because she couldn't even hear like a, a fire alarm. And she's so happy to see, to see us, that we are happy for her because it was really hard uh, for us to even us have a conversation with her. We have to yell at her. She said she was, um, after this, she was crying for two weeks because of happiness. For her to see her grandkids cry of happiness because she could hear, hear them, it's a blessing. I'm Erin, Associate Director of Education and Global Hearing Health here at the House Institute Foundation. Thank you for watching our video. If you would like to support research, education, or global humanitarian efforts, please consider donating by clicking the link in the description box below. Be sure to check out our other videos, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified anytime we post. Thanks!